Hey and welcome again, it's Andy of Andy Bower YouTube Fishing. Hope you're well, safe and sound. Thank you to everybody who recently watched the video of five times smooth hounds that I had only uh, a few days ago. It was a fantastic day, I really enjoyed it. Um, two or three days later, I'm still on that uh, sort of high of, of catching some good fish. So I've come to Gasworks Beach, uh, which is at Minehead. It's literally the other side of the harbour. Just behind me, I've got the um, sort of wall which goes struts out into the sea. And as you can see, just around here, got gas works, got white mark down further past there. And as we as we scan across, got things like um, the butlins there, obviously the harbour wall. I arrived, and while setting up one of the rods, um, the rod went absolutely berserk. And hopefully, the footage that I've got, you'll be able to see that very shortly. So. Uh, so far, um, it's been fantastic. Uh, so I won't say what I caught, but it went berserk and um, hey, really pleased. So thank you so much. If you like what you, uh, if you enjoy watching my videos, um, please by all means subscribe. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you in a minute. Thank you again. Just cast out and got a smoothie. First cast. Over near ten minutes. Easterly wind breeze, uh, blowing as well, which is good. wanting to go it really does want to go there he is up get the clicker off now Beauty, absolute beauty to start with. The result. All right, boys. Absolute beauty. 
really pleased with that. There he is. Oops. Go back, all right. Come on. Lovely. Let's get another one. So we're just setting up, and it looks like there's a um, bit of a service or something like that to do with um, the lifeboat station. A couple of lifeboats are out there. Something's going on. Not too sure what, but a lot of people there. Maybe it's good luck charm, I'm not too sure. Fishing this sort of area, as you can see, is a steep, pebbly beach, and uh, you've got very easy um, harbour wall up there. A lot of people fish off it. The only reason why I don't fish off it, it's very, very high. So if you had a, if you had a good fish, um, you'd have to try and walk it around. Um, I'm not a fan of, uh, but just here, you can see the, the very, very clearly, this sort of dirty water just runs along through here. Um, there's a channel and where that post is over there, there's actually sort of a, barrage of boulders and rocks and things like that which all go, go all the way up through here but there's a channel of sand and mud and a bit of mixed mixed ground um, a lot of big fish have been caught off there over the years I say uh, off there when people are cast out onto the um, onto the channel from the wall and maybe off of here as well it really does throw out some really big fish big congers have been caught off of here I remember one guy had a 28 pound cod caught going back a few years now um, but you get, you get blonde rays, you get small eyes, you get inevitable amounts of dogfish. In the winter you can get um, lots of decent whiting. Uh, but um, here, uh, it's probably about 50, 60 yard cast and then you're on to a bit of sand, which is cool. And then a bit further out, it's quite, quite mixed. If you fish a bit further around in the bay there, uh, there is a pipe which goes out. So just be cautious when I say a pipe, um, you can snag on that fairly easy. But uh, yeah, it's a com very comfortable, easy little place to fish. I've got my stuff set up there against the wall, which is nice. So I'm gonna give it a couple of hours here and I might shoot off somewhere else. So whilst I've got two rods out, I've got um, another rig baited up. Uh, I've got crab and sand hill today with me. And this area quite often uh, can get pestered by dogfish. And sometimes when you get doggies which are a bit of a nuisance, what I tend to do is leave some of the shell on, some of the legs on. So you can see there, I haven't completely um, taken the shell off. I leave some of the legs on, still sort of um, intact. Because dogfish I find sometimes you can just put them off a little bit. When I say a little bit, if you do a really nice, soft, juicy little bait, and dogfish can easily devour it. However, leave a little bit of... Um, shell on sometimes it might just put them off long enough for a for a different fish like a smooth hound to take it so it's a small tip but it works in certain areas when they're prolific which they are around here Now they've gone, I just can check this one as well. Oh, I say that. Look at my neck.
I don't know what's going on, but I think they're um a bit close for my liking. Yeah, just wait for a minute. 